My newer 95 caravan that's soon to be diesel is all legal on the road now. It's got insurance, license, emissions test, and a safety check, and it all passed. I didn't have to do anything to it. Well, change one tire, but I took it off this van. So I'm preparing to remove the motor. It's working great. A few parts out of the way already. One thing you'll notice that's handy, once you take out the windshield washer bottle, you see a little dimple on the firewall. Well, I'm going to use a torch and cut out a one inch hole. And that's where the clutch cable will go through. It already had the plastic plug in here on the shock tower to remove and put in the little nut plate that holds the bracket that holds the clutch cable on. Just had to remove that windshield washer bottle. Now I'm in the process of removing the brake pin for the pivot point for the brake pedal to add the three inch longer one to put on that clutch pedal but the brake pedal plate you push on is a little bit wide so I'm going to have to nip a little piece off make it the same size as the ones on standard cars and then put the rubber boot back on I have cut a hole in my floor mat and a hole there for a shift cable to go through and another hole way over there for the shift cable to go through on the other side there, there is that little plate on the other car that holds the shifter mechanism on and I took it off because it lifts the shifter mechanism up a little bit higher so I'll, put, I'll weld it on to make it work there's the plate I'm talking about as you can see it raises the shifter mechanism an inch so it'll still feel comfy when I'm driving it, it won't be sitting too low if I just weld it directly to the floor that'll go right there then it'll all get covered up by the shifter mechanism seems a waste to pull a perfectly good 3 liter motor out and transmission and I don't know what to do with it now this van does have an electronic speedometer means it has no speedometer cable and I can take the sensor off this transmission in this vehicle and I'm thinking if I do that there's some there's going to be some way I can attach this little piece of cable or whatever's in there to that sensor even if I have to duct tape the two all together or weld a little who knows bracket to hold them together and then I can make it feed the electrical signal to there it just creates a voltage as you're driving just by a rotating permanent magnet in a little coil of wire I had speedometer error on the last one it always showed too fast but since it just creates a voltage I can put a potentiometer or a resistor in any one of the two wires feeding that speedometer and adjust it until I get the speed exactly correct if I can do it that way my diesel motor is still hanging in the shop perfect place to push the van in and get it back in so I've got a better idea to get this motor out the way the auto wreckers do it and the way we do it at the farm because we have a tractor yeah it's March 2nd or 3rd it's nice and sunny it's just above freezing and I'm actually working for the first time without my coat on in 2010 I'm loving it probably get a sunburnt face today now time to cut that little hole with a clutch cable I've already removed the noise dampening fuzzy material behind there so it didn't catch fire. Fair enough. Just got the brake pin bolt out. You can see the difference in length. And now to just slip the clutch cable in where I cut that hole. Right there. And mount that to those two bolts sticking out of the shock tower cable is in couldn't be simpler now just to reattach the windshield washer bottle just like new and now it's got the three pedals all ready to pull the engine that's how you do it A couple hours later she's swinging Ready for retrofit. The new world's most fuel efficient van will be born again tomorrow. Sweet.
sun just set.